Dr. Paul Nelson Mwipopo na kulotia mada na kusema fanya mapenzi kiu tofauti tofauti umpe utamu tofauti mtu anapoboreka na wewe hata kuambia kakatindo londoa lakini pale utakapofanya mambo ambayo yanampa kitu tofauti kichochao kilichomo ndani ya mwili wake kinachoitwa dopamine kinasababisha afurahie zaidi tendo la ndoa na wewe na kutengeneza kumbukumbu nzuri na wewe kwa sababu gani uh, kichochao kingine ambacho kinaitwa oxytocin kinafanya mtu akupendelee wewe aliyekuzoea kuliko yule ambaye hajakuzoea nisikilize nazo shuhuda kama tatu au nne hivi kwa watu ambao wamefanya vitu tofauti tofauti wakutana na mambo tofauti tofauti mazuri sasa asilimia kubwa ya watu wanafanya mapenzi ndani ya dakika tatu wamemaliza unajikuta kwamba kitu kikubwa ambacho kinapewa kipaumbele ni mwanaume aingize uume kwa mwanamke na mwanamke aingize anani aingizie uume afurahie tena ndoa kitu ambacho si kweli sawa watu wengi wameangalia picha za ngono za ex sawa ina you know, mtu mmoja katika tafiti ya madai akasemaje in the in, in, in the ex movie it goes from her sucking or getting lit to penetration anasema kwa sehemu kubwa yani ni mwanamke kumnyonya uume mwanaume au mwanamke kumnyonya uke mwanamke bahasa alafu naingia wanaanza kuingiliana sasa hiyo kwa uhusiano unaoendelea mbele hauwezi kufika mbali ukiwa na excitement ukiwa na raha ya kutosha sawa mwanaume mmoja akasema kwamba it makes my bona weak and weary asema inachosha hata ume wako fanya mapenzi na mtu ambaye hajui kuleta vitu tofauti inachosha eh eh dada mmoja akasema katika kufanya mapenzi tofauti okay, tofauti tofauti akasema it takes our relationship to another new level anasema uhusiano wetu unapokuwa katika utamu tofauti na ule tulio uzoea uhusiano wetu kiwango chake utamu wake furaha yake inaenda kwenye kiwango kingine tofauti kipya Ha, it takes our relationship to another level. Ninge kwa mzungu hapa mkenya ambaye amenitumia test moja moja nzuri sana ushuhuda mzuri sana mkenya ameandika kwa Kiingereza huyo dada wa Kikenya lakini nitakutafsiria kwa Kiswahili. Sawa? Yaani ifungue simu yangu hapa. Sawa? Naomba nikusomee dada wa Kenya. Sawa namba yake nimeificha. Sawa? Nimeandika Kenya testimony. Sawa? Namba yake nimeificha. Nimeanza kuchat naye toka ameanza abagizia hizo video za kumwandaa mwanaume mpaka leo. Sawa? nimechat naye kwa muda mrefu kidogo nimesave kama Kenya testimony kwa hiyo wewe usikajua ni namba ya nani message yake ya kwanza alikuwa anaomba video nikampa maelekezo akatuma hela kwa njia ya Mpesa ikaingia sasa leo ndo kanitumia ushuhuda <laughs> leo ndo kanitumia ushuhuda anasema hivi doctor i hope na kuna mtu ananipigia simu hapa sorry <laughs> sorry anasema hivi doctor i hope you are doing well Thank you for the information you shared. It has been helpful. Asante mimi, Dr. Atumaini Umzima. Nashukuru sana kwa mafundisho yako ambayo umenipatia yamekuwa ya msaada mkubwa. Asema my husband works in a different country from far from Nairobi where I work. While he was away, I went through the videos and the pamphlets and mastered what to do. Wakati mume wangu akiwa mbali kikazi nilipitia zile video clips na majarida kikamilifu ili nijue ninapaswa kumfanyia nini mume wangu when he visited aliponitembelea i did what the video advised and for the first time since we got married we finished the first round and immediately started a second round in a different position as maybe aliponitembelea sasa alipokuja I, asema nikafanya yale ambayo video zako zinaonyesha napaswa mwanamke amfanyie mwanaume. Asema toka niole tumefunga ndoa asijazungua asijifahamu ni miaka mingapi lakini ataitugusia hapo mbele kama sikosei. Asema toka nimeolewa toka nimeolewa. Asema tumemaliza raundi ya kwanza, alafu baada ya kumaliza raundi ya kwanza tukaingia kwenye raundi ya pili kwenye mkao tofauti kama ulivyoelekezwa kwenye video. It was the first time also he visited he visited for more than one night and we made love for the fourth night she was around asema tufanye naye mapenzi mara siku nne mfululizo ambapo sio kawaida 
in pains you want to come to I don't see him. Husband, and husband, and I, 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 I, and 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 and when I find you guys in the 40s, I could see in Uganda, see in Sudan, see in Ethiopia, see in Europe. But I can't ni mara ya kwanza, ameweza kurudi. Chini ya wiki moja amerudi. So, he stayed again for four nights. And I said, we can't ask you. And we were busy again with Nintendo Land. I said, we were busy with Nintendo Land. Kwa siku nne ufurizo. I said, kabla hajaondoka, alisema. I think we will need a holiday. I said, kabla hajaondoka, I said, maybe, reitagi, tupate mudu wa kutosa, niombe likizo. As a doctor, what I can tell you is, is that you have given me a vaccine for the corona that was eating my marriage. As a you have given me a vaccine for the corona that was eating my marriage. As a doctor, I had given up because the treatment by my husband was dehumanizing. As a doctor, I had given up because the treatment by my husband was dehumanizing. But now, I feel treated like a human being. He used to yell at me until I felt useless. I said, 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 I one week before I found your video, I said, which one is the video that you have to do? I have cried to God in prayer for one week. I said, 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 Telling God, I have tried everything. I know, but nothing made our relationship better. The conclusion of my prayer said this. I said, 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 I Asama, mungu najua kama unachukia watu peana talaka lakini nimesha teseka kwa miaka kuminatisa hea hey, amegusia ndoa yake hape na miaka mingapi katika ndoa hii and have no more energy my god please forgive me because I'm leaving my husband akasema sasa hivi yani nime itahidi kwa mbilu zangu zote miaka hii kuminatisa kumbadisha mbilu wangu nimeshindo sasa hivi sina nguvu tena za kujaribu jambo lote jipia sikiliza on the fifth day of my prayer asama siku ya tano ya maombi yangu I came across your video about the 12 places to touch a man. Asema siku ya tano ya maumbi yangu. Nika kutana na video yako jinsi ya kumshika mwanamume katika maeneo kumi na mawili katika milu wake njimisho mingi ya mishipa fahamu. Now, Asema, I got interested. Asema, I got interested. For me, it was a miracle because I had never searched for this kind of material. Asema, kwa mimi nikuwa ni mujiza. Sijawe kutafuta mambo kama haya kimapensi. Sijawai, ni mrokole uyu. Mm-hmm. And I never thought this is where the problem was. As a baby, what a sick new one. That is all you go at Kutumbana. You cost you to Banabizuri, Tombesha. As a baby, that is what you have a statiso to see you Kutombesha, Mumewangu. Sigiriza. And I never thought this is where the problem was. I can, I can never thank you enough. My God bless you abundantly. As a man, Sir Kushikuru Kutosha Mumba Kubaliki too. As a baby, Sasaevi Natokifania. A Kwanza. Na fanya kazi yale ulionifulisha ya pili ni kushare hizi information na watu wengine wanaohangaika kwenye ndoa zao. Moja kati ya marafiki zangu wanne. Moja 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 wenu moja wao amepotezea. Kaona puzi na amepingana na hayo. Lakini wale ambao wameanza kuyafanyia kazi anasema anasema hivi I have shared this information with four of my friends. One of them is still resisting and anapingana. But the clever ones have already tried and it's working for them. As mama misha jaribisha haya mambo na ya meanza kwa saidia. They are really excited and one of them is requesting you to send her videos. As mama moja huyo ataka na yeo mtumia yeo mwenye yeo awenavi yeo mwenye yeo. Sana kujia kuangalia kwenye simu yangu. As mama nita kutumia hela na anawani yake ya gmail ili weze kumtumia. Nika mwambia na mshukuru mungu dada hangu kwa kushuhuda huo. Sawa, nika mwambia nimeungaga kwa ingereza na natoa tafsiri yangu mwenye asema hivi Mungu siku zote nikamwambia Mungu siku zote ni mwema ukiwa unamsubiri ukiwa unamsubiri tunamngojea sawa Mungu aliyesema kwamba watu wangu wanaangamia kwa kukosa maarifa Hosea 4 mstari wa 6 ndio anayejua kwa nini ulikuwa umeshindwa kuelewa yale maeneo 12 ya mwanaume sawa 
Na siku peke yake katika Isaya 27 mstari wa 11 Mungu anasema hata waonea huruma watu wasiofahamu jinsi ya kumhudumia mwanaume kwa sababu wewe mwanamke umeitwa msaidizi huyu ni Kenya. Nije kwa Tanzania sasa wawili. <laughs> Ndio kwa tatu sijikoja. Nimesema namba zako mashuhuda. Huyu <laughs> hapa mwingine sawa. Sikiliza. Kwa kweli daktari mimi naamini hii sifa imetokana na mafunzo ulionipatia kwenye baadhi ya video zako YouTube nimejifunza mengi daktari ambayo kwa kweli sijawahi jifunza mara nyingi nimekuwa nikikutana na mtu hata kabla sijaolewa na sifiwa sana kuwa niko good lakini bado nilikuwa naachwa <laughs> lakini kwa hizo video hapa imenisaidia sana kujifunza baadhi ya vitu ambavyo sijawahi kuvijua Asante sana dokta. Yaani hatulii anapiga kila saa. Anasema anataka tena. Ananiambia sijawahi kukutana na mwanamke mwenye ushirikiano katika mambo ya wakubwa kama wewe nimekupenda sana. Huyu ni dada. Na ukimwangalia kwenye picha yake alinitumia. Sio mzuri sana. Lakini amekutana na vitu alikuwa na chocho ovyo. Mwingine huyu ni mzuri kwa hiyo dada alikuwa hajui mama hata kata kiuno alijua hajui. Sawa. Huyu dada nimemfundisha hiyo kata kiuno kupitia kwenye channel yangu. Anasemaje? Anasema dokta. <coughs> Poa naamini kabisa kwamba wewe ni mwokozi wa ndoa zetu. Nimekupigia jana kukuwa hewani. Dokta ile ya kufinyia uume ndani ni faya kabisa. Tatizo na shindwa kufinya uume na pokuwa nimekukalia huu juu unanisaidiaje? Huyo ni wapili mtanzania huyo. Nijie kwenye shuda mwingine au shuda mwingine huyu hapa. Anasema hivi, hizo ni zaidi kali sana. Anasema Asema asante dokta nimeufanyia kazi ushauri wako leo nilichokifanya nimempaka mafuta ume wake nikamfanyia masaji ume nikaupaka mafuta dokta kwa kweli sijawahi kusifiwa kama leo mpaka amelia nikatumia ile ya design ya kufinyia kwa ndani dokta goli mpaka tatu bila mchubuko <laughs> kiukweli sijawahi ona dokta mwanaume analia kwenye mambo haya kikubwa mungu akubariki sana dokta ila bado narudi kwako dokta nisaidie mara nyingine uke wangu na kuaga mkavu <laughs> Unaweza kuona huyo huyo ni mwingine sawa kuna mwingine amenunuliwa kiwanja sijui nimemsafe wapi amenunuliwa kiwanja nasema nimenunuliwa kiwanja sijui kwa ngoja nimtafute haraka haraka nasema ni mpaka amenunuliwa kiwanja ngoja nimtafute we eh nasema heri yako heri ya fasaka daktar naomba nikushukuru kwa mafunzo yako mazuri hasa zile sehemu za kumsisimua mume wangu yani umefanikiwa kuiokoa ndoa yangu nimekuwa nikimuona kama amekuwa na mwanamke mwingine maana alikuwa hana haja na mimi kabisa sawa kwa kweli jana imenifanya imenifanyia mambo ya imenifanyia mambo ya ajabu sana mwanaume amepizi huko anaunguruma kama nguruwe sasa hivi ameweza kuninunulia kiwanja maana mara nyingi nilikuwa nikimwomba swala hilo lakini alikuwa akinipa ahadi za uongo yani aliniambia nimejua kumkuna nilikuwa wapi nikamwambia anisamehe tu sikuwa tayari kwa kipindi hicho chote kwa kuwa nilikuwa nalea mtoto kwa kweli daktar amenitukuza na kiwanja tayari kiko kwenye jina langu ubarikiwe sana japokuwa anachepuka <laughs> Haleluya. Unaweza kuona. <laughs> Unaweza kuona jinsi gani haya mambo yanakuwa. Sikiliza, nimetufanyia mada sawa. Kuna mada nyingine ambayo inafuatia hii sawa. <laughs> Usikose. Kuna mada nyingine ambayo inafuatia hii inasema hivi. Utakufa peke yako ukiwa hivyo. Hiyo <laughs> baadhi inakuja. Utakufa peke yako kama hujui haya. <laughs> inakuja jisajili kama jinsi jisajili sawa. <laughs> jisajili haraka kuna kibox cha group lakini maandiko subscribe. Sawa? Bofia atapata maelekezo ya maandiko subscribe 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 kwa maandishi meupe. Na vile ukitaka hizo video clips na majarida naweza kukutumia kwa njia ya Gmail. Mtandao barua pepe mtandao wa Google. Namba zangu za simu hizi hapa 0754 Rudia tena 0754 Na kuandikia hapo chini sawa usiogope kwamba itapotea. Iko hapo chini na kuandikia sasa hivi. God bless you. Love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>